Hi everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can install Ubuntu Desktop, the latest version, using the Oracle VirtualBox. Let's get started. So first, let's go to the uh, virtualbox.org and let's maximize this page. And on the left side, click the downloads. And since we are using Windows 11 operating system, I'm going to choose the Windows host here, and then it will start downloading the exe file. It's completed, and let's go to the folder, and then let's install the VirtualBox. Let's double click the file, click yes, next, next, yes, yes, and install. And let's wait for a few minutes here. Okay, it's completed. Let's click finish. So this is the VirtualBox manager user interface. So next is we will download the ISO file from the Ubuntu website. Let's go to the uh, ubuntu.com, ubuntu.com. And then on the Get Ubuntu tab, let's go to the desktop and then download 22.04 LTS. And it will start downloading the file for us. So let's wait for a few minutes here because it's a 4.7 gig size. It's almost done. OK, it's completed. Let's go to the download folder. OK, the file is already there. So let's minimize this. Let's minimize. And then let's go back to our virtual box. So let's uh, create a new virtual machine. So click the machine tab here, and then click New. And then from here, let's name it as Ubuntu. So I will leave it as the default folder for my VirtualBox virtual machine. And then from the ISO image, let's point it to our download folder, which is this one. This is the ISO image that we just downloaded. And then click Next. And then let's change the username because this is the default username uh, from the VirtualBox. So I'm going to use Valray Toolkit and then my own password. I will re-enter my password here. And then I will use my own domain, which is bellrace.toolkit. And then let's click this guest edition. So guest this edition is the tool for the Oracle virtual box. We will be using it um, after we installed the operating system. Click next. And then let's adjust the memory. I'm going to make this as 16, or it's up to you um, how much memory you want to specify here. Um, on your own virtual machine. So for the CPU, I'll make it four. Then I will click next. I will make it 50 gig and then next. And then once you click the finish, it will auto start the virtual machine, but I'm gonna stop it because we will still be needing to um, configure the settings. Let's click finish. And as you can see, it's powering up the virtual machine. So let's uh, stop the virtual machine. Okay, this stop is now showing here. Let's power off the virtual machine. Then it's powered off. Then let's click the settings and let's go to the system. Um, and let's go to the display. I will maximize the video memory to 128 MB. And then let's go to the storage and look for the controller IDE. Click this one. And then on the right side, there is a, a, a disk label here. Click to that. And then remove this. Then click again. And then use the ISO image that we just downloaded. And then go to the network. I'm going to change it to bridge adapter instead of NAT. So click OK. And then you can start the VM again. And then let's wait to boot up the Ubuntu desktop operating system. Click the first option. You can see now the logo of our Ubuntu desktop operating system. I'm going to close this. Click the install Ubuntu. Click continue, continue, and then click install now. Click continue. Okay, click continue. And then I'm going to put Bell Race Toolkit. And then I will put my password here, re-enter the password, and then click continue. And it will start copying the files. And let's wait to finish the installation. It's almost done. OK, let's restart the uh, virtual machine and then press Enter. Then let's wait to boot up our Ubuntu desktop. OK, we can see now the username. So let's click to that. Then let's enter the username. Oh, the password. Okay, great. We are now inside the um, Ubuntu desktop. So let's set up this first. Skip next. 
and click next and next and click done okay we're ready to go um so let's maximize the window size of our ubuntu desktop so it will be the same size of our windows 11 desktop operating system so let's maximize this but as you notice it's not resizing according to the size of my windows 11 operating system and to fix that we need to install the virtualbox linux edition to improve the graphics and system performance so let's do that so let's go to the terminal and let, let's maximize this one and then do a sudo apt update it will ask for our password okay it's completed and then let's uh, perform this sudo apt install minus yes build essential linux headers minus dollar minus r and then enter i will include all the commands in the description okay it's done and then the next step that we will do is to click the devices tab on top here and then click the insert guest additions cd image and then we should be seeing this cd here let's click to that and this is the oracle tools that uh, we were that i was telling about so right click to that and then open terminal let's maximize this then let's do a list what we will do is to do a sudo dot and then forward slash v box we will use the linux additions that are un and then enter we'll ask for our password and it will start installing the additional modules for the virtualbox guest additions let's wait to finish the installation okay it's completed let's enter and then let's do a reboot sudo reboot then let's wait to boot up our virtual machine okay let's uh, enter our password enter click this and then let's maximize again okay great so if you maximize it you will see that my ubuntu desktop is resizing according to the size of my host windows 11 machine so you can use your ubuntu desktop in a better way so if you resize this so let's do this and then you resize this one yep it's auto resizing right so we have a better performance when it comes to the graphics so just to make sure uh let's do a reboot again and then okay as you can see there is some kind of uh problem with our graphics here did you notice that yep something like that so let's go to the terminal yep as you can see there is some kind of a problem with our desktop so let's uh, shut this down i will close this and then power off the machine okay and then let's configure the um the setting again see if it will help so let's go to the display and then let's enable the 3d acceleration and then okay then let's start again the vm i'm gonna close this let's enter our password okay let's uh, monitor a bit let's click the mozilla and let's open the terminal keep this tab keep start browsing google.com sorry google.com yep and then let's go to this one let's type yep it looks like it's stable now just to ensure everything is okay let's do a reboot again so the reboot i just want to make sure that our virtual machine doesn't have a performance issue let's enter our password again okay let's click the mozilla then let's search for the terminal let's do a the road test i would say enter yep i don't see any like a malfunction or something let's go to this and then go to the website okay i don't see any problem now it seems stable all right so if you like this kind of video please consider subscribing to my channel thank you <laughs>